hello everyone we have just ihab and basil shabo is joining is not here yet i don't know why why the attendance is very few Okay, so we have Ihab Dahro is here. Yes, Mrs. Uh, sorry, Ihab Dahro, yes. Thank you. Okay, Ihab, can you uh, remind me what we have last lecture? Uh, what did we talk about last lecture? Okay, uh, if you remember, we talked about um, the parts of the thesis statement, right? We have three parts of the thesis statement and uh, honestly, we have two main parts, two main parts, which are necessary to have in the thesis statement, which are the topic and controlling idea, right? Uh, and the third one, which is optional to have, and its name is a uh, predictor, right? Can you tell us, um, can any one of you, um, Ihab or Basil, can you tell us about the three parts of the thesis statement, the topic, controlling idea, and the predictor? Just in order like to make summary and um, uh, make revision to remember the things that we had last lecture. Yes. Do you hear me or not? Okay, you hear me, Ihab? Yes, yes, uh, Mrs. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Uh, I hear you. Uh, if yeah. you have like uh, the ability to answer this question, uh, what is the topic, uh, which is the first part of the thesis statement? You 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 remember? Address of essay. It is the subject. Yes, right. It is the subject of the essay. For example, uh, when we are talking about. Um, for example, the causes of war in Syria. Okay, so what is the topic here? Is it causes or war? What do you think it have? If we are talking about causes of war in Syria. What is the topic can here? You can you repeat uh, your question, please? If we are talking about causes of war in Syria, this is yes. a title yes. of an essay, okay? What is the yes. topic here? Is it causes or war? Causes. So what is the controlling idea? War. Mm. Uh, you, you got confused between the these two parts. Uh, the topic is more general than the controlling idea, right? So here, the topic is the war, not the causes. Okay? While if we want to choose only one idea out of this topic, so it's called controlling idea, which is causes. 
All right. So we have we have um, the topic which is war and the controlling idea which is causes. Okay. Okay. We have if I um, say for example there are two main causes of war in Syria, such as poverty and seeking for dignity. What is the predictor here? Yes, I would repeat the thesis statement. There are two causes of war in Syria, which are the um, the poverty and seeking for dignity. What is the predictor here? You remember that we talked about predictor and we say that predictor predict or guess or uh, tell us as readers about the number and content of the body paragraphs, right? So the predictor here is poverty, number one, body paragraph number one, and seeking for dignity, this is body paragraph number two. Okay, I will share this. Uh, share the screen. Just tell me if it's uh, clear. Is it clear? Is the screen clear? Okay, no answer. I'm, I'm asking you questions about the last lecture, about some ideas that we had before. And it is very important to participate during the lecture. I don't know, Yani, what is the problem with you? There are few uh, participants. There are few students that attend each lect lecture. And even those uh, who part participant or who are participant or who attend? Um, I don't know why there there is like a little participation during the lecture. Actually, this um, this uh, class or subject depends on interaction. Okay, I will ask you to to write. Uh, like introduction to write thesis statement to uh, to like to generate ideas in order to uh, write um, a good essay during the lecture okay but i don't know why there is no enough participation and no no enough um interaction during the lecture okay you hear me so, ahmed sultan and ihab Okay, uh, after having um, part of the thesis statement, which are um, very important, and uh, thesis statement in general is uh, very important to know how to write a good thesis statement. And it is very important to know the, um, the parts of the thesis statement, which are the three ones. And we have first one, uh, first and um, first part and second part which are the main 
parts okay and the third one which is optional to have in the thesis statement okay let's now move to um the kinds or types of an essay okay actually we have many types of essays but we have some which are most common ones okay like they are popular to have um those types of essays okay but actually we have uh, so many types of essay let's start with the first one which is descriptive descriptive essay um this type of an essay will provide details about something or about somebody or about some place for example okay or about for example some meal uh, you will you will uh, describe or give uh, details about something about someone you will describe for example your place your favorite place uh, you will describe um, your favorite person um, you will describe maybe you will describe yourself your personality your character um, you will describe your favorite food your favorite dish okay so this is called descriptive essay when you provide details when you uh, give us like description about something or somebody so this is a descriptive essay okay so how something looks for example how your hometown or your favorite place looks how um, you feel for example when you um for example went to uh, um your your university and it was your first day at university okay for example how your favorite food tastes how it smells um how something makes you feel okay how it sounds okay all of this when you describe something so you are writing descriptive essay okay uh, it can also describe what something is or how something happened okay when you are describing for example what happened um to you as for example as you you were going on a trip on a journey so when you are describing the events so this is called descriptive essay these essays generally use a lot of sensory details sensory like we have sensory details like how it feels how it tastes how it smells okay how it looks these are sensory details the essay could be a list like description that provides point by point detail okay because you are giving um, many details about something so you are describing it okay uh, not necessarily uh, something it may be someone when you want to describe uh, your good friend your um for example your role model yani your example in life okay when you are describing yourself when you are describing your father your um your brother etc okay or it could function as a story okay so it both it can be both as a story for example when you are telling us a story so this is actually called narrative essay when you narrate or tell us a story okay but it, at the same time it can also um, be called a descriptive essay because you are describing something or a story or an event and at the same time you are telling us a story okay so maybe in these types of essay uh, maybe we have two types in just one topic okay and this is no problem at all okay um in each lecture we will have like one type of essay and uh, we will uh, try to to write um for example a topic which is of the same 
type of the essay that we are having. Okay. And maybe we will see an example, an essay example of, for example, descriptive essay. Okay. So we will uh, first uh, get to know to the type of essay. And uh, then we will try to like to describe something or to uh, to write about um, this type of essay and maybe we'll have uh, we will see an example of this type of an essay okay so when you are telling a story it could be like a narrative essay we will have it later okay this is this type which is called narrative essay we will have it later inshallah but uh, this is at the same time is called descriptive essay because you are describing events that happened to you, okay? For example, you, you had a trip in the past. Um, you had tried something new, for example. So you are telling us a story. You are describing something. And you keep the reader interested in the plot and theme of the event described. Usually specific example, describe a method, describe what happened, describe the main features or functions, or summarize the main points of a theory or article. Okay? Or you will describe some somebody, um, the person that you love, for example. You will describe some place, uh, your favorite uh, place, for example, which is the sea or the beach. Uh, you will describe your hometown, your country, your city, okay? Or you will describe um, the thing that you love to do uh, when you have free time, okay? All of these are called descriptive essay, okay? Uh, can you please give us um, like an example, like a topic? as an example of descriptive essay just in order to assure that you under understood the idea of descriptive essay yes any answer Yes. Can you suggest for us like a topic or a title as an example of descriptive essay? Yes, please, Ihab Ahmed. Okay, so um, as an example, we can describe somebody, okay? For example, if we are uh, going to describe uh, a favorite person to you, okay? You will ask yourself uh, two main questions, okay? Uh, are you going to talk about like appearance of this person or the characteristics of this person? L like what the meaning of characteristic it means like qualities okay qualities of this person so are you going to describe this person outside 
or inside. Okay, so to talk about um, like qualities, outside qualities, you will ask yourself this question. What does he or she um, look like? Okay, um, this, this question is um, to talk about appearance. To talk about appearance, okay? What does he look like? بس تقول عم تقرأ أشي اليسر اليسر Okay, but if we say for example what what is he like what is he like it means you are going to talk about the character character of the person okay. Okay, I wrote those um, notes on the chat bar. Um, if we are going to talk about the appearance, like the outside um, qualities of the person, is he fat, is he tall, is he short? So in this, you can ask yourself, what does he lo look like? But if we want to talk about the inside qualities of the person, so you are going to talk about the character of the person, you will ask yourself this question, which is, what is he like or what is she like? Okay, to talk about the character of the person. Okay, for example, is he generous? Um, and is he like a reliable person? Uh, is he easy going? Um, for example, is he intelligent? Okay, is he nice? Is he kind? All of these are inside um, qualities. Okay, I will write this word, qualities. Qualities. Um, it means characteristics. Characteristics or qualities. And it means a sifat. Okay, a characteristic or qualities, sifat just for humans. Okay, just for a people or a person. Okay, any any question up till now? Ahmed, Ihab, and we have Maysoon. Uh, Maysoon, are you a new student or is it your first time you attend? ميسون دي. طيب انا هلا هلا دخلت انا لسه وما بعرف صار لي زمان ماني معكم ما كان عم يدخل معي والله ما الزوم هلا لا يعني مشي حاله ميسون is it your first time you attend are you a new student بس مره وحده يعني فيرست يعني مره بس دخلت معكم يعني هاي ثاني مره so this is the second يعني time Right? Are you with no. us when, when you uh, talked about descriptive essay? No. Okay, so uh, we are talking about descriptive essay, uh, which is a type of an essay when you want to describe somebody or something or some place. Okay, and my question is, uh, can you suggest like a topic or a title as an example of descriptive essay? For example, uh, when I ask you to describe your favorite person or your favorite place, uh, when I want, to, I want you to describe, for example, uh, something that you, you love most, okay? So 
you are going to provide or give us details. This is called descriptive essay. All right? And I wrote in the chat bar, for example, when you want to describe somebody or when you want to describe yourself, for example, uh, you want to describe uh, the appearance of the person, like, for example, what does he look like? Uh, is he tall, short? Uh, for example, yani ha have, for example... Uh, does he have blonde hair, like brown hair? Okay, all of these are called appearance. Appearance, um, qualities, okay? Or you are going to describe a person inside, which is like to describe the character or personality of the person, okay? Ihab, what do you mean by confused? Yes, Iha, what do you mean? Thank you, good evening. Uh, I have uh, meant uh, in this uh, word uh, about uh, adjective of uh, any anyone. Uh, we don't say adjective. We, we are saying uh, qualities or characteristics. Okay, if you are going to describe a person. But what's your question, please? I, I didn't understand you. Uh, this word... Uh, this word... Uh, right this word... Or, which, which one? Uh, uh, confused about uh, describe uh, people or describe anyone. Yani, are you describing yourself that you are confused? No, not uh, myself. Oh, uh, this is the not... quality, you mean? Uh, yes. Uh, quality or, or characteristic think, uh, of a person? And, and, write, and write it in chat. Okay, not, so uh, that... uh, thank you for this um, quality. But I'm, I'm asking you to give me like a topic or a title as an example of descriptive essay. Can you suggest? Yani, what is the question of this type of uh, of this type of an essay, which is descriptive? For example, when I ask you uh, this question, describe your favorite place. Is this type a descriptive or not? When I ask you to describe your favorite place, is this type a descriptive essay or not? What do you think? I, yes. I think, yes. I think not uh, descriptive because. No, descriptive. Uh, why? Why you have? <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you, Mason. But um, uh, yani, I need to uh, listen from uh, Ihab why he, he think that uh, this is not descriptive essay. Can you have any justification? Any cause for that? Ihab, why is this type is not descriptive when I ask you to describe your favorite um, place, for example? Okay, I don't know what happened with Ihab, no problem. Um, do you have any question concerning descriptive essay? Okay, I will show you an example, and an essay example about a descriptive essay 
okay? Uh, which is to describe your favorite place. And this is actually, uh, at this type is descriptive, okay? To describe your favorite place. For example, describe a place you love to go. Uh, you, for example, a place that you you born in, okay? This is called descriptive essay. Okay, hello again. Uh, before the connection cut off, we were talking about the descriptive essay. Uh, right now, I will show you an example of the descriptive essay. Okay, I will share the screen. Is it clear? <clears throat> Is it clear? Is my voice clear? Yes, it is, uh, Mrs. Okay, great. So uh, this is the title in the middle of the page. This is a title, okay? My favorite place. My favorite place. Um, Actually, I, I want to talk about the, the rule of the title when you want to write a, an essay. Uh, you need to capitalize, like to make the letter capital, okay? If you have three parts of speech, which are verb, adverb, noun, and adjective. If you have those for like parts of speech noun adjective verb adverb so capitalize the initial letter of them when you have a title okay and capitalize the initial letter initial it means like the the starting letter okay the first letter of the word it's called initial letter. And capitalize the initial of the first word. Whether it, it is like a verb or an article or a pronoun, okay? Maybe it will be as this word, a, okay? Like a favorite place, a favorite place. So because a, comes in the beginning of the title so make it capital okay maybe you will see you will say for example my favorite place okay my favorite place okay because my comes in the beginning of the title so we will capitalize the first letter of this word Okay, we have favorite, which is an adjective, so we capitalize the initial letter. We have a place, which is a noun, so we capitalize the initial letter. 
okay so it's wrong to say or to write this uh, title like this one my favorite if uh, small and be small this is incorrect title okay is it clear concerning the title rule okay so uh, let's begin with the introduction as we learned before um, we have a paragraph as introduction which is the first one okay and after the introduction or introductory paragraph we will have the body paragraphs uh, which are for example two body paragraphs or three body paragraphs and at the end we have a concluding paragraph okay concerning this place or this space sorry okay you know this space this is important in each beginning of each paragraph, okay? Because um, we have to leave a space in the beginning of each paragraph, okay? Why to mark, to make something clear, to make like, the beginning of each paragraph clear so when a reader want to read for example this essay he will know that this is paragraph why because we have space here and this is another paragraph because we have a space here okay this space in writing is called indentation Uh, this space space is called indentation, okay? And the verb of it is called indent. Indent, if I ask you, for example, to indent each paragraph, it means to leave a space in the beginning of each paragraph. Is it clear? Uh, please pay attention to the form or format of the essay, like... To indent each body paragraph, this is very important. Okay, to, to indent each body paragraph and each like uh, each beginning of a paragraph. Either it is a uh, introduction, body, or conclusion. Okay, so the indentation is very important in formal writing. Okay, and to have a title in the middle, not for example in the left nor in the right, we have to have it in the middle of the page. Okay, we also have like to have margins, these are called margins, you know, this uh, white space. Okay. These are called margins, yani hawamish, okay? In the, in the right and on the left. We have to leave like margins, similar margin from the right and from the left, okay? So uh, this is called format of the essay or the form, the shape of the essay. And this is very important um, to have it in our essay. Let's start with our um, example about the descriptive essay. My favorite place. Every human has a favorite place to go where he or she feels comfortable and safe. This is like a general introduction about a place or about a favorite place. 
a place to go in times of grief. What the meaning of grief? It means sadness. Okay, الحزن, sadness. Where one can throw concerns away or it may remind them of beautiful memories. Okay, this is, يعني, um, we are talking here in general, okay? Uh, because in the introduction, we need to talk about uh, a topic in general. Then, when we want to move to the thesis statement, we will be more specific. Okay, we will be more direct. A person loves sitting in their favorite place. Is it correct to say there? And we have the subject singular. Yes, it is correct. Okay. Instead of saying, for example, his or her. Okay. Because a person can be male or female, right? So instead to say, um, a person loves sitting in his or her favorite, we can just say there. Okay. So it is. Um, totally okay to say there instead of saying his or her. And the same idea here. Instead of say saying he or she, we can just say they. No problem at all. Okay? Because they, and um, for sure we need to delete S because they uh, doesn't need S for the verb. Right? So we can say... Uh, Every human has a favorite place to go where he or she feels, or we can say, we can drop or delete he or she and add they instead of he or she, okay? Because they here uh, means that neither uh, or either to have like a male person or a female person, okay? So a person loves sitting in their favorite place to remince. Remince means to remember. Remince means to remember. Okay. <clears throat> yes, tazkir. About those moments. Also, it may be a place to change the mood. You, you see that uh, here I'm talking in general about that uh, about a favorite place that each person uh, loves to go to a person or a, a favorite place because we need sometimes to change the mood we need to remember about our uh, moments we need like to throw away our concerns or our problems you see i'm talking here in general when i go to the last sentence of the introductory paragraph so this will be a thesis statement okay so this is called thesis statement for me the sea is my favorite place to visit um, you see how this sentence is direct how it is specific it is not general at all okay so the thesis statement must be direct and specific and simple, okay? So when I read just or only the uh, thesis statement in your whole essay, I will understand the idea of your writing, okay? You see how the thesis statement is important? Okay, so this is the introductory paragraph. Let's move to um, body paragraph number one. Yes, please. Who can read? Yes, who can read body paragraph number
Yes, who can read? Ahmed, Amina, Ihab. Yes, I can read. Maysoon. Yes, Maysoon. Go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, the sea is that uh, horizon that uh, takes you to another world where you uh, remain safe. Remains, you... remains. It means remember. Remains about your about your beautiful uh, memories, which uh, gives you psychological uh, comfort and uh, happiness with uh, its breaking uh, breaking waves. Uh, the sea is one of the most beautiful uh, blessings uh, for man, which uh, shows uh, the greatness of. Uh, uh, of the cre uh, creature, creator, creator, where uh, words uh, can't uh, describe the sea's uh, beauty and uh, charm. It's uh, an uh, inspiration to many, to many poets uh, and writers. Uh, poems and uh, thoughts uh, that uh, talk about the sea are un uncountable. Uncountable. Thank you very much, Maysoon. So the sea is that horizon that takes you to another world. I uh, begin the introductory or the body, sorry, the body paragraph with a full sentence, right? I don't, for example, write just sea and full stop. No, I wrote a full sentence. Where you remains, remains means remember, about your beautiful memories, which gives, gives you psychological comfort and happiness with its breaking waves. You see here that how I, I am describing um, the atmosphere of the sea, how I am uh, uh, describing the waves, al-amwaj, okay? So... Here I'm describing the favorite place. I'm describing the sea, um, the waves, okay? I'm describing the feeling, how the sea makes you feel when you go, how you feel comfortable and happy when you go to the sea. The sea is one of the most beautiful blessings for man. And man here doesn't mean um a male person no man here means a human okay an insan which shows the greatness uh, the greatness of the creator creator in capital c it means allah or god okay words cannot describe the sea's beauty and charm it is an inspiration to many poets and writers inspiration it is like um when you have something okay uh, because when you have for example an idea about what you uh, you should do okay because you have inspiration uh, because for example the sea is inspiration to poets so the sea makes the poets shara uh, write poems okay makes the writers uh, write for example uh, novels or something so the sea encourages those people uh, to write because it is inspiration for them so poems and thoughts poems al qasaid and thoughts that talk about the sea are uncountable okay so uh, you see how uh, many sentences we have this sentence number one okay uh, we call it a sentence we when we have a full stop at the end of it okay when we have comma we don't consider this sentence as one sentence no Okay, just when we have full stop at the end of the sentence, so we count it as one sentence. Okay, so one sentence, two sentence, uh, three sentence, and four and five. 
So how many sentences we have in the body paragraph? We have five sentences. Okay, maybe we have four, maybe we have five, maybe you have six. So it's on, on average, we have five sentences. Okay. Yes, body paragraph number two, who can read, please? At the beach. Yes, who can read? <clears throat> At the beach. Yes, I can read. Yes, go ahead, please. <laughs> yes, I can read. Go ahead, please. Yes, please read. At, at the beach. Yes, I read. Go ahead, please. Yes, my son. At the beach, I can me? sit down. At the beach. At the beach, I can sit down to relax and think. I also go to it uh, to practice many activities and games. Uh, I join my friends in playing, uh, in playing treasure hunt uh, in the sand, which is uh, based on uh, hiding uh, various objects uh, down the sand and uh, writing instructions on paper cards uh, to help others uh, reach uh, them. I build sand in the form of uh, castles and uh, places and uh, compete uh, with my friends uh, to choose the ideal building uh, design. <laughs> I go with uh, my children to the beach. I make uh, a kite and, uh, and fly it uh, in the sky. It's uh, fun if you take uh, your children with you. Okay, thank you. So this is body paragraph number two. I'm, I'm continuing to um, describing the uh, the uh, favorite place which is the sea um, here I'm talking about the beach okay which is um, this side of the sea at the beach I can sit down to relax and think I also go it to practice many activities and games I join my friends in playing treasure hunt treasure hunt it's a, a name of game when you for example uh, hide something especially in the sand when you are at the sea, um, at the beach, I mean, and you ask your friend, for example, to find the thing that you uh, that you hide, okay? So it's called treasure hunt in the sand, which is based on hiding, hiding uh, various objects down the sand and writing instructions on paper cards to help others reach them. I built sand in form of castles and palaces and compete with my friends to choose the ideal building design. I go with my children to the beach. I make a kite and fly it in the sky. It's fun to take your children with you. You see that here I'm, I'm describing the activities I'm telling or uh, telling uh, details about the activities, about the games that I'm having with friends, with the family, with children, uh, when I am at the beach, okay? So it is similar that I am telling a story, okay? Because I'm describing an event, I'm describing uh, something that makes me feel comfortable when I am uh, in my favorite place. Okay, body paragraph number three, the last one in the body. Yes, who can read? 
I can't read miss. Yes, Amina, go ahead. When I go with my friends and relatives, I arrange a barbecue on the sea with friends or relatives and enjoy the climate while listening to music and watching uh, the scenery. One of the most fun activities with my friends on the, on the beach is playing the uh, XO game on the sand beside it's playing water or uh, or fighting water balloons. Uh, they are fun games that you can also play in the sea. Another activity I do on the beach with my friends is the uh, volleyball game. Uh, in, part in particular, you do not need to professional to practice it. Okay, thank you so much. When I go with my friends and relatives, relatives, it's uh, uh, yani similar to the family, okay? Or far family, uh, such okay. as, for example, aunt, uncle, okay? Um, I arrange a barbecue on the sea with friends or relatives and enjoy the climate while listening to music and watching the scenery. Scenery, uh, it means like nature or something... Uh, for example, green uh, trees, okay, um, the sea, the nature around you, it's called scenery. One of the most fun activities with my friends on the beach is playing the XO game on the sand. Beside playing water wa war or fighting water balloons, they are fun games that you can um, also play in the sea. Another activity I do in... Uh, on the beach with my friends in the volleyball game. In particular, you don't need to be professional to practice it. So here I'm describing the um, the activities, especially when I'm uh, like playing the, those activities or games with relatives or friends. Okay, and he, here I'm, I'm naming the, um, uh, the games such as, for example, XO, uh, wa water war, uh, water balloon, okay? So I'm just like uh, telling uh, a story. I'm just telling uh, the events, um, the event uh, details, okay? That I do when I go to my favorite place, okay? Um, let's go to the concluding, conclusion or concluding paragraph. In short, um, when you want to write a conclusion, so you can start with this phrase. Phrase, it means al Okay, you can say in short, comma, falsely. Okay, in short, yani, it means bikhtisar. In short, the sea has a great impact on the human soul. It is a source of hope and renewed activity. Everyone I know likes to go to the beach as a natural place to have fun and rest. Okay? Uh, you see that in the conclusion, I am summarizing um, all the ideas that I discussed during the body. Okay? Or I, I can uh, add my perspective or my point of view, my opinion, as a conclusion. Okay? Um, here in this conclusion, I mix two things, which are like summary, okay, that uh, the sea is a great place to go to, and it is like an opinion that everyone uh, likes to go to the beach because it is a natural place to have fun and rest, okay? Easy, right? Easy um, conclusion. Yes, uh, do you have any question concerning this uh, this essay? Do you have any question? This is, I will repeat that, this is a descriptive essay. Okay, because you are here describing a place. You can take a screenshot, please, and uh, send it to the group. 
okay? <clears throat> you can take a screenshot and send it to the group because um, because it's uh, your assignment to write like a similar um, essay to this essay, to this one. I want you to write a descriptive essay, either to describe a person or describe a place. You can describe your city, your town, um, your university. You can describe your teacher, your uh, brother, your friend, etc. Okay, so the assignment is to describe either a person or a place. Write it, please, in a form of an essay. This is a form, like shape of an essay. Don't forget to write a title. Don't forget to make, like, indentation, space in the beginning of each paragraph, okay? Don't forget, like, to leave margins, hawamish, like, a similar margin on the left and on the right. Okay, because it is important to have like a good shape of the essay. Do you have any question? Okay, any question? Don't forget to take a screenshot to this essay and send it please to the group in order to write like a similar essay to this one. Okay, so uh, thank you for your attendance. Uh, if you don't have any questions, so um, we can leave. That's all for today. Thank you so much and see you inshallah next lecture. Goodbye. Thanks, Miss. You're welcome.